to begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to the white hair individual called Effigy, choose the first chat option and accept the quest. Next, speak to Bonafido. He is one of the workmen. He's lying on his back, right in front of the tower. You'll now have to collect four different parts of the construction outfit. You can collect these in any order you'd wish, or just follow along with what I do. For the hard hat, speak to Black Eye, he is just here west, and choose the chat options on screen. Next, speak to Gummy, literally right beside you. You'll now have to find an extra pair of trousers that were washed away during a storm. You can find it in some bushes to the southeastern side of the tower. Now, I'm not completely sure if we will have the same bush to search but you should find it. Once you find said pants, head back near the entrance of the tower once again and speak to the guns. He is lifting a log and has no shirt on. You should now receive a shirt. In case you did not, you probably did not have your beer in your inventory. And last but not least, a few steps to your south, go ahead and speak to the fingers. He will refuse to give you said boots, so go ahead, right click him, and pickpocket. This might take a few tries. Once you have the four pieces of the outfit, wear it, then speak to Bonafido. He is the guy that's laying on his back in front of the tower and choose the chat options on screen. Now, as you could see on screen, we have several resources on this floor. We'll use said resources to fix two machines and a cage, but we'll do this one at a time as to not fill our inventory. Now, before we proceed, according to the RS Wiki, there are two instances during this quest that can cause the client to close if you're specifically playing on the ultra graphic settings. I don't know if this is true or not, but just a heads up. If you're playing on Ultra, you might want to simplify the graphics to something more moderate, like medium or something. Moving on. For our first machine, go ahead and search the crates for these resources listed on screen. Feel free to pause the video and continue once you've collected said resources. With all your items in your inventory, head up the stairs and click on the machine to fix it. Choose the first chat option.
you'll have to follow these exact steps, so follow carefully. Now you'll notice these pipes have holes in them. We'll have to cover them up with the balls we collected on the crates. Then we just continue the flow of water through all pipes. So let's start with the first one. On the first pipe, go ahead and turn it to the left until it's clogged. Then turn it to the right until it's fixed. Then pull the lever to the left. And for the second wheel, it's the exact same steps as the previous. Turn to the left until it's blocked. Then turn to the right until it's fixed. Now the third one is a little different. Turn the wheel to the right until the ball reaches right above the hole. Then turn to the left once to block it. And to finish it off, keep turning to the right until it's fixed. And pull the right lever this time. And the fourth lever is the exact same as the previous one. Turn to the right until the ball is right above the hole. Turn to the left once to block it. Then keep turning to the right until it's fixed. Once fixed, you will be notified in your chat log. With that machine fixed, let's head to the first floor and gather more resources to fix the second machine. Here on screen are all the items. Feel free to pause the video and continue once you've gathered said resources. Once that's all collected, head up two flights of stairs. And click on the machine to fix it. Choose the first chat option. Thankfully, this machine is a lot easier to fix. Simply put, place the right tubes in the right order. Here on screen is the reference to the answer. You might have to rotate a tube or two. Once complete, head back to the first floor for the final resources. As before, feel free to pause and continue once you've collected the final resources. Next, head up two flights of stairs. And click on the cage to partially fix it. Choose the first chat option. For this repair, you'll need to fix the front, rear, right, and left side of the cage. They take slightly different sizes and amounts of bars, but it's really easy to follow. The solution is here on screen, but I'll go ahead and do two of them as an example. So for the front, I'll need these. We'll select a vertical size of two and click place. Next, we need a horizontal size of three. Then place. Then a horizontal size of 2 and place. 
with the front complete let's click on the right to start repairing the well right side we'll need a vertical size of four then place a vertical side of two then place and a horizontal size of two and place I suggest you keep moving the same way, in this case we move to the right, until you've completed all the sides. Once again, here is the solution to the sides. You will be prompted upon completion of the cage. With that out of the way, head back to Effigy where you started the quest. Speak to him. Then head back to the top of the tower once again. You should get a cutscene. After the cutscene, speak to Effigy. He is found outside of the tower once again. And for the last time, head to the top of the tower and speak to the Hermunculus. Choose the chat options on screen. Also for the last time, speak to Effigy outside of the tower. You should get a cutscene. After the cutscene, enter the tower and head down the trap door. Speak to the Hermunculus.
and quest complete.